So, Faye Kingsley, welcome. Uh, welcome back to Sarawak because you're here for holidays, I believe. Um, I was filming an indie film, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, but right. I leave tomorrow, so. Oh, tomorrow, okay. Yeah. So, uh, maybe, first off, you'd like to tell us some more about yourself? Sure. Um, well, I grew up in Kuching, and I lived here till I was about 15, 16. I went through the whole process. I went to Chuhua number one, and uh, did Tariqa's three career and all that stuff. And, uh, and then I moved to Australia after I, I finished school. Um, when I was, uh, I, I studied something completely different, actually, and uh, found myself getting into the storytelling realm of, uh, of film. And so I kind of started doing short films, actually. That was like my way in. Uh, Uh, the first short film I did was with a, like a first year film student uh, and the film was really good. It was like a 12 minute short film about something that was in a newspaper article in, in Japan. So it was based off a real story, um, uh, something that had happened in Japan. And that film went to the Venice International Film Festival. This was back in 2009 and it just changed everything. Because uh, I, I went to the film festival and I, I met so many different types of artists and so many story like people that were talking about narrative like it was like it was I don't know just magical and so I was I was exposed to lots of actors mm -hmm. lots of producers yeah. lots of directors and critics for the first time really and I fell in love with that 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 whole that whole space of. Um, Collective artists coming together to share their stories. So that's that's basically that's the way you got in short films mm -hmm. and yeah, and that's with the first year student. Yeah. So uh, basically, recommend people to just uh, definitely do, do, do short films. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's situation. the best way to start. It's the best way to start. It's the best way to learn as well. I I think on your first film, you you kind of go through all the trials and tribulations mm -hmm. of what works for you and uh, what kind of cameras you like to use, who, who do you know in your immediate circle okay. of friends that are ready to play, you know, like, you know, yeah, just yeah. like, hey, you know, would you, you want to you wanna do a short scene with me and we'll right, have someone right like shoot it person. right now and, and then we just see how it goes. So I, I think like your first film is really about like just, well, your first short film, I would say, is about playing playing within the realms of how you like to tell stories and, and, and figuring out what your voice is. So basically when you did these short films, you got involved in pretty much all the process, not just acting. I started also. from the acting mm -hmm. side. Um, when I moved to Los Angeles, I started really wanting to get involved behind the camera as well in the process of producing a short film. Um, and also then acting in it in some capacity, but also I wanted to try it all. I wanted to write, I wanted to direct, I wanted to produce, and I also wanted to act. Not in every single film, but I, I wanted to really understand the medium of right. how to tell a story through a camera, you know? So, um, I have to say, after I think I've produced something like maybe 18 short films now, and the first the first short film that I ever did actually won a competition. It was in the uh, Los Angeles Transit Flicks competition, and I won like one year free taking their bus and trains in Los Angeles. Uh, the metro. And, yeah, the metro, right. which was great because I didn't have a car. Um, but I will say that it was so fun to just. Because I always wanted to shoot on a train, you know. Like sometimes yeah. you're like, you you look around and you 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 see environments that you're like, oh, I really would like to to sh I want to tell a story there. I don't know what the story is yet, but I want to I want to tell a story there. And so having the opportunity to shoot on a on a train in LA was just like exciting. I was like, ooh, it's kind of illegal. I I don't have a permit, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so yeah. See? 